is finally out the iPhone Reader app for the Freestyle Libre. In this video I'm going to be telling you everything that you need to know about it. Which uh, iPhones are compatible, um, how it works, what I think about it and more. So let's go. <laughs> It's available for iPhones 7, 7 Plus, 8, 8 Plus and the iPhone 10 and it is initially available in a majority in about 12 European countries including Austria, Belgium, Finland, Germany, Ireland, Italy, Spain, Sweden, Netherlands, Switzerland and the United Kingdom. So you can use the Freestyle a Libre link app in two ways. You can use it with the Freestyle Libre reader or you can just use your iPhone. So in order to use it with the Freestyle Libre reader and you, in order to use both, which if you have the Freestyle Libre reader, I would highly recommend that you use that way just because you can use uh, both the reader and the iPhone, which if something happens to one, you always got the, the other one. Even if you're gonna be scanning uh, your sensor with your phone all all the time it's always good to have both so in order to do that you need to scan your brand new freestyle libre sensor with your freestyle libre reader and then in the one hour activation window you need to scan it again with your brand new iphone um, libre link app and then after the one hour activation period both the freestyle libre reader and the iphone will be able to scan and read data from a Freestyle Libre sensor for the whole two week period. Now the other way is if you don't have the Freestyle Libre reader because you can use your Freestyle your Libre Link app on your iPhone to actually activate a sensor. So if you've never used the Freestyle Libre uh, system and you have an iPhone, this is a great opportunity to just buy one sensor and activate it with your iPhone and use just your iPhone for the entire two weeks to see if you like it. So you can use it with the Freestyle Libre by scanning it first and then the iPhone or you can just activate it using the iPhone and using just the iPhone for the whole two weeks. In terms of functionality of the uh, Li Libre link app on the iPhone, it is very similar to the Freestyle Libre reader. So you are able to add things like notes, your insulin intake, your carbohydrates, your notes, uh, which you can type actually, type notes like, oh, I've just had a shower. I don't know why you would type that anyway. <laughs> uh, but also because on your phone, you are able to upload it to different things. So one, one thing you can upload your readings to is uh, Dyson, which is a diabetes cloud management thing. My diabetes clinic uses it. So every time I scan my Freestyle Libre sensor, um, that reading is automatically sent to Dyson and my nurse or my endocrinologist can access it automatically. Uh, you are also able to send it. I think, by the way, Dyson in America is called Glyco. Glyco. Um, also, you are able to send it to this sharing platform called Libre Link Up. Now, what that is, is um, if you have someone that um, would like to get your readings when you scan your Freestyle Libre sensor, then you can install an app called Libre Link Up on their iPhone or the, their Android device and every single time you scan a sensor that reading is automatically sent to their phone so they can see it so it's kind of like your Dexcom share the only difference is because it's not continuously monitoring your blood sugar level you need to scan your Libre and then that sugar is sent to your partner, to your mum, to your dad, to whatever you want to share with Another thing that I would like to point out about the um, whole iPhone scanning thing is um, it is not, it is great, it looks fantastic, but the way that the iPhone NFC antenna is built into the iPhone, it is sometimes very, very difficult, not very difficult, but it, you need to, after a couple of days, you will get used to it. But it is very specific place on the iPhone that you need to scan the Freestyle Libre sensor. So for example, with the reader, the NFC antenna, which is the thing that picks up the readings, is built exactly in the middle. So you can just swipe, swipe like that, and you know exactly my sugars are bad. But you know that exactly in the middle, it will you will get the readings. 
but with the iPhone, the antenna is built at the very top of the iPhone and sometimes you need to put it in the angle as well for it to, for it to scan properly, which is something that, um, like, like a tip, so make sure you need to, you need to scan at the very, very top. So basically the top needs to be touching your Freestyle Libre sensor. You will get used to it, but just something that I thought you should know. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited about it. I've been using it for a couple of days and I love it. Um, also another thing to point out, um, someone said to me, if I use just the iOS app, what would happen to my graphs and my analysis and things like that? Well, the Freestyle Libre um, um, team has come up with this great thing. It's called Libre View. There's so many names I've, I've had to memorize, you don't even understand. So the Libre View is an online platform uh, which uploads your data from all of your devices. So every single time you scan your sensor with your iPhone, that reading is uploaded to the Libre View website. Every single time you scan it with the reader, and then every single time you plug it into your computer, that, those readings are automatically synchronized with the Libre data from your iPhone. So if you don't use your Freestyle Libre reader for like two weeks and you just use your iPhone, your readings are still there to be analyzed. And that, that online website is basically a digital version of the um, Mac and PC software for the Freestyle Libre. And over there you are able to do exactly the same things like on your local computer. So you can do graphs, you can do my average A1C, you can do when I'm likely to go low, when I'm likely to go high. I think I've explained um, details about that website in my tips and tricks video about the Freestyle Libre. So go check that out if you want more information. So even if you just use your iPhone, you, you'll be still able to print all of those important graphs to take to your endocrinologist or to your nurse so you don't need to worry about that so yeah i am very very excited about it i know freestyle libre community has been waiting so long for this app and it's finally out now another thing that i would like to point out is that um this is not like a conspiracy theory it's just my theory but i not a lot of people have noticed something um, when the when Avod released their Freestyle Libre Link app for the iOS, they've also released a brand new app for the Android, and they both created by Abbott, which is the company that makes the Freestyle Libre, which makes sense. But before the iOS app was available, the Android app was actually made by a different company. Um, I remember the name, I'm going to put it on the screen. And, and that company created the entire app and they were sort of developers and they were, you know, doing it all. But now Abbott has taken over the app and also the, and they've launched the iOS app. And they've also taken over the Libre Link Up platform when you share your readings with your partner or your husband or your mum, dad, whatever. And I think the reason why they've taken over that and they are managing it right now is because they're preparing for the second generation Freestyle Libre. I've done a whole video about that and that second generation Freestyle Libre will have a Bluetooth chip built in and I thought it makes so much sense that they've decided to create their own app for the iPhone, for the Android and also for the caregivers, for, um, for mums, dads. Uh, so they can follow it because it will be ready for when the Freestyle Libre second generation is launched because they will be only they only need to you know adjust the app for the Bluetooth connection and the entire Abbott ecosystem will be ready so um, it's not and it's not conspiracy theory that's just my personal opinion we know that second generation Freestyle Libre is coming so and did I say second half of 2018? I think I did in that video, I can't remember. But um, yeah, that's just my personal opinion of what is going to happen. Okay, so um, thank you so much for watching this video, if you made it this far. And let me know what you think about the Freestyle Libre iOS app. I've also created this um, 
um, I think you call it a, a topic thread or something on my channel if you go to my channel there's like a topic when I said you can ask me any questions about the freestyle Libre app and you can post them now you just comment down below so um, let me know what you think about the iOS app and thank you for watching and I if you like my content I encourage you to subscribe I do loads of diabetes technology videos and that's that thank you so much and have a good day